here in UK so uh, more uh, like uh, American food places are coming down to London so we are happy uh, so we can try different flavors different styles and uh, uh, we're gonna show you a little bit of the food where we go so what I got this is the, what did you get I got is it I got a steak sandwich okay you can eat that nachos nachos some buffalo wings. So and this is some sort of hot pepper sauce. Hot pepper sauce. I don't know what that is. Is that guacamole or something? I don't know, just the uh, sauce. It's a sauce for the buffalo wings. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Yeah. Let's, what is it? What is it? The sound there? I'm going to try the nachos. I'm actually going to try one of Sam's hot wings. Mm -hmm. Buffalo wings. So I don't want the small one, I don't want the big one. It's not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this without sauce first. Mmm, it's got some good flavors, guys. It's not spicy. This is, this is good it's not spicy. I'm gonna try a little bit with this, this sauce that came up with. I'm gonna try a little bit with sauce. I'm supposed to go with sauce, I guess. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's so see how it, eat, how it tastes. It's, it's nice flavor, it's not spicy, but it's got a hint of kind of, kind of kick. This is the kind of, the sauce that they gave with it. It's like a, it's not a tzatziki sauce, it's like, what's the other one? Hummus, it's like some sort of hummus sauce. Hummus dip. But I'm gonna try the, the hot sauce. With the hot sauce, see how hot this sauce is. It's, Maybe it's hot for someone that never tried hot sauce before, or that doesn't like hot food, but for us, just any sauce. But regardless of that, it's got very good flavors, which I'm enjoying. Oh, I think it's lettuce and this. So, so it's basically nachos or steak and chilies, right? It's got natto cheese. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna try and uh, just just one for now. Mm. Where is pork and celery? Mm. Nachos is banging. Have you ever touched any of your food though? Not yet. It's the same thing. It's the same um, thing. Same, yeah, just same steak, yeah, just a bread version. So basically, this is a sandwich. So I'm gonna give it a chunky bite. To get a full. Mm. It smells nice. <laughs> is that weird smelling the food in there? <laughs> Very, very nice. I like it. It's very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't eat bread, so I can't tell. Mm -hmm. No, the food is banging. You know what, yeah, in, in London, you don't have many bloggers or you don't see anyone doing it, so people are looking for some Yeah. Which is making me feel a bit weird. What is this? Mm, celery. I never tried it. I've never tried it. 
I'm a spring onion guy. That's quite warm, you know, it's quite hot. You don't like it? No, look at that, guys. Nice. Close spring onion ring, it's gone in. And what's this type? You said it's like a guacamole? No, it's like a hummus. Oh, like some, a sort hummus. Of, some sort of hummus. It does say like hummus, isn't it? I don't know if I like that. I don't think we're supposed to go with the chicken wing. Maybe it's supposed to go with the celery. I think it's like with the vegetable. Well, I mean, it's still there with it, so you expect it to... Yeah, I know. It's quite hot, you know. If you eat a lot of it, no. you can't put no tip. It's not going to work. I'm going to put it for flavour. Not for heat. Mm -hmm. really I want it for a barrel. Put more nachos. No, because if I eat your food, then I know I'll finish mine. <laughs> mm. Like a city sandwich, basically. It tastes similar to the, the Subway yeah. steak sandwich. Mm. Not a lot of people have Subway, though. It's in different countries. Well, Whoever knows what Subway is basically. It tastes a little bit like uh, the steak sandwich there. Mm -hmm. it just got, it, this is what is on flavors kind of thing. It's like a sandwich shop. Yeah. Something different. But I'm enjoying it. Yes. I think it's got a different taste to Subway though. I think it tastes a bit more authentic. It does. It tastes more homemade. Mm -hmm. So how was everyone's weekend? Mm. I hope it was good. This week I've been going for, for especially today, mm. going through that thought of forgiveness. Yeah. How important it is. What's your take on forgiveness? My take. Someone, well, their take oh, first. Take. And now your take. My take. I mean, it's always good to forgive. Wow. When you forgive wow. someone, it doesn't mean that obviously you have to work with the person again or, or just to kind of have you back here mind here kind of spirit that you you have already forgiven a person for whatever reason and then but how do you show that you've forgiven them do you believe in forgiving and forgetting yeah, you forgive the person and forget whatever happened isn't it? okay do you believe in that do you believe that it's right to do that uh okay, that's fine. yes or no Okay, what's your yes? My yes is yes, it's good to forgive. Do you believe in the forgiving, but you don't <coughs> believe in the forgetting? I'm forgetting about the situation you're going yeah. about. Yeah, you forget about the situation and you just move on. Move to your next chapter, I guess. But how about your relationship with that person? Oh, still the same. So I'll still say hello, so still I wouldn't disrespect the person. You just don't have to work with you ever again, basically. I don't have to do anything with you again, in a kind of way. As a business wise, as a work wise, or whatever the reason, whatever, whatever we, well, it depends on the relationship with the person, isn't it? As well. Kind of thing. I believe that even if forgetting means that, I think that when you forgive someone, you obviously forgive them wholeheartedly. Yeah. But when you can, you can confirm that is by forgetting. Mm. So when you forget what they've done, you, when it, I think the whole point of forgetting what they've done is more like not keeping that that grudge yeah. on them. You know, like they've done something wrong. We're not until you, first of all, I'm not perfect. 
So if I don't want to be, if I don't want to forget what's always done, I have to. I can't, I can't really like. If someone's done something to you, and you're you forget in a sense of you don't keep that same memory of what they've done mm. but at the same time you still have to be careful so if someone's got the tendency of doing something all the time and they can't get out of it you have to either choose to ex not accept but choose to accept their process mm. you know but if they do something at least you know what they're doing, I don't believe in agreeing with what I'm doing, mm. but when you can see it's something that they do, you can keep away from it, but you can always still be cool. Mm. Yeah, you can still be cool, just, you just don't have to entertain the uh, wrongdoing, basically. That's how I see it. Yeah, but I'm trying to understand. It's like never disrespect anyone in whatever reason, in the end of the day, you can forgive a person, you can forget at some time, and you just don't disrespect them, you do what you gotta do, you just don't have to work with them again. You work out or, or deal with them in that kind of level again. Okay, but do you think that people have the chance to the right to change and give them another chance in certain levels? I think this is what I think. Mm, that, that's, a, that's a tricky one. Uh -huh. There's a lot of people don't like giving a chance because honestly we all make mistakes we are human beings we're no one's perfect so sometimes you have to give that chance to the person it depends who the person is involved and how close the person is to you if it's a, a business deal kind of thing then you just don't have to work with them again okay if it's someone like family or whatever the case i think there is room for improvement always uh, it's always because we, we make mistakes and, uh, and obviously uh, we improve into that. We improve in our mistakes and we just uh, obviously learn to, to do it different next time. I'll give you an example. Like, let's say someone um, does a job in interview, yeah? Mm. Prime example, they've been given all the instructions of what to do mm. and they still come unprepared, yeah? Mm. So the employer, that could be a waste of time, mm -hmm. yeah? But if they say to you, you know what, come back, get yourself to a certain degree, mm -hmm. come back, they're still willing to work with you. Yeah. But the only thing is, maybe your process may be a bit different to other people because of what you've done before. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean they're not going to give you that chance. So I think that there is, I think the key is, is to ensure that if you're going to give someone yeah. that chance again, there has to be a different regimen. Yeah. That's what I think. I really believe that um, because people make mistakes all the time. It doesn't mean they don't come back. Mm. It doesn't mean that they can't change. Oh yeah, I do do that. Yeah. Like you have strengths, I have strengths. So obviously, sometimes your weakness, your weakness can be my strength, and exactly. my, my weakness can be your strength. So exactly. it's all about how you help each other, as, 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 help. how you help each other in that kind of area. Mm -hmm. But if the person is receptive to the help, though. Mm. If they're not, at least you try. Yeah. That's why it's good to forgive. And, and it's good and forget. It's good to forgive and, and help as well. If they're willing to learn. And if they're not, if they don't want to, you can't force it. Well, at least you try. Yeah. Mm. Look, water's water, but this water, for some reason, is good. Try it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, okay, this is someone really, really hurt me, really badly. How do you get over the I don't know, you know, because it's, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky question. Like, if someone really, really hurt you, obviously, you, in, in, your, in your heart, you forgive them. Uh, sometimes, some people, uh, some, don't, some people don't. don't. So some people don't. So obviously, you kind of... It depends on the person, really, because some people find it hard to, to forgive others. I'm just thinking still. <laughs> I can answer it in a sense of, am I perfect? Mm. Have I done anything that may cause upset? I think forgiveness is more about 
yourself like because I feel like when you when you don't forgive someone you start you start collecting a characteristic that you never had mm. like if you were so a person that was very kind very loving you know loved everybody you're cool and then someone hurt you and then you change from being that to being something totally different mm. then that shows that unforgiveness can change you mm. so if you don't want to change I mean, you could be more vigilant, you can be more aware, and you can be more careful how you do things. But at the same time, it doesn't take away, it shouldn't take away you as a person. Yeah, I get it, I get it. If you don't see that person, you know what I then you have the ability to change and become what you don't did. You be, some people become what they don't like. Or what hurt them in the first place? Mm. If, you, if you think about it, something will actually be coming. But anyway, guys. I'm full up, guys. I'm full up as well. We did our best. Mm. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to our channel. Sure. And don't forget that Reflection EP is out. Yes, so guys. Go and check it out. It's been had a lot of press coverage. Oh yeah. We'll probably like do a video separate about that. Definitely. Um, but yeah, until the next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.